I've been up way too long, clock just hit three. What's up YouTube, it's Mal Blue here. Today we're gonna to be going through my favorite way of programming live sounding acoustic style drums in Ableton. You can use this method for any type of music that you're doing. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. All right, so here we are in Ableton. I'm currently running Ableton Live 10 standard, but this method should work for any other version of Ableton that you're using. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is find drums on the left-hand side here under categories, then find drum rack, drag it onto one of your MIDI tracks. Today we're gonna be building our own drum rack. Ableton does come with a lot of built-in drum kits that sound really cool, but when I'm building an acoustic sounding drum kit, I prefer to choose my own samples. Ableton does have a really good selection in their library, depending on your version again. Also, you can download other samples off the internet or record your own samples, it's really up to you. When I'm looking for my samples in Ableton, there are a couple really cool ones that do sound a bit more live. Obviously, anything that has acoustified or acoustic uh, is gonna sound a bit more live. I really like these blues break or blues room samples. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose all my samples. I'll just fast forward through all of this right here. Alright, so I'm finished picking up all of my samples that I'm going to use in my drum rack. So I'll just play them all now raw. So I have my kick, a few different hi-hats, snare, rim, toms, a couple rides, and a crash. So everything in your kind of traditional rock drum kit I have right here. What I like to do to kind of bring the acoustic sound to the next level is use a drum bus so what you're going to want to do is under audio effects you're going to find drum bus right here my favorite drum bus in Ableton recently has been this transient shift decay I'm going to go ahead and drag that into my drum rack track so what this is going to do is kind of add a bit of grit a bit of grain a bit of distortion so you can kind of already hear the difference, it just sounds a bit more full. And then I'm going to add some reverb. So it's kind of up to you whether you want to bus your reverb out to one of the reverb channels kind of over here. For drums though, I kind of like to have them inside of the track. So they have a lot of really good reverb presets inside of Ableton. I like this drums room preset. I'm going to scale it down to about 30 on the dry wet slider. So now if we give all of our different samples a listen, it just kind of rings out a bit more. Gives it a fuller kind of feeling, kind of feels like you're listening to it live, which is cool. So I'm going to go ahead and just make a little drum loop in the horizontal view here. So when you're making your drum loops, the way I like to do it, just to insert the MIDI track right onto my MIDI channel here. Double click it. I can see all of my different instruments and I personally like to draw my drums. So I'll kind of just quickly go through how I would do that. Um, I have my loop set on a very short timer. I'll just play the track through and I'll just craft the drums as I go, just really simply. So I'll fast forward through all of this and show you what I have after. Alright, so here's my drum loop that I crafted. Uh, pretty simple, I just try to use all the different samples. Really, really quick drum loop. Here it is, right here. So 
So what I like to do when I'm making live sounding drums is to pan all of the different samples kind of as opposed to where they would be on an actual drum kit. So the kick I always keep centered. Hi-hat I'm gonna pan slightly to the right maybe three right. It's a little loud too I'm gonna bring it down a bit. Maybe a bit more. All of my hi-hat sounds are going to pan the exact same way, and I'm going to bring the volume down. Same as this one, I have three different samples. My snare, I'm going to keep slightly on the right. Keep it at the same volume. Same as my rim. My toms, I'm going to pan to the left quite a bit more because on a real drum rack, you got to think about where they are. My crash, I'm going to put it further left, maybe about 10 left. My ride, I'm going to put it on the right, maybe 10 right. So after some panning and some slight leveling, this is what it sounds like. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys find a new easy way to program jumps into whatever kind of music you're making. If you liked the video, be sure to smash the thumbs up down here and to subscribe to my channel for more musical content. Till then, I'm out. Peace.